Hello and welcome to another quick Maya Q&A, a series of videos where I try to answer your questions about Maya, covering anything you want from basic stuff for those starting out or looking into the hidden features of the software. Today's question is from Rolf Berg. Why is Z not up? Well, I'll bounce this question back and ask, why is X never up? Rolf is asking about why scenes in Maya are oriented with the y-axis facing upwards, while other software like 3ds Max or Blender actually have the z-axis facing upwards. This is a great question and is going to allow me to give you some geeky insight into the history of 3D software. And to try and explain this problem, I'm going to help myself with a sheet of paper with a technical drawing on it. Now, some people are very passionate about this subject and argue which is the better coordinate system, either Y up or Z up. But let's be honest, the correct answer actually is for you to choose whichever world coordinate system you prefer by going into Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, and navigating down to the Settings menu and choosing to set up Maya's default scene orientation. The rivalry of these two systems has been around for a long time, even before Max and Maya. And back in the dark ages when I was studying to be an architect, there were even complaints back then about CAD programs like AutoCAD and SolidWorks, which had different orientations. Which now brings me back to my sheet of paper. If I asked you to design a program to make 3D models on a computer, and you were looking at this drawing laid out with the same orientation as the surface it's on, a table, the X and Y axes are the ground plane. Now, if you're gonna put this drawing into 3D space, the Z axis would point upwards from the drawing. However, if we take the same drawing and put it on a vertical plane, like a cork board or a computer screen, the X and Y axes are right in front of us. If you're turning this drawing into a 3D object, then the Y axis is now facing upwards and the Z axis actually goes into the screen. People argue about this in the first place because when you're trying to share assets between programs like Max and Maya, objects are just facing the wrong way. And people often offer low-tech solutions like, well, you can just rotate the object 90 degrees in the x-axis. But this introduces a local axis rotation where the object might look correct in world space, but its local pivot is now in the wrong direction. In areas like rigging, where you need to have this technical alignment for your orientations, well, things can get messy quite quickly. Fortunately, things are getting better, and besides most 3D programs allowing you to choose which axis is up, file formats like FBX and Alembic are saving your 3D assets and converting the up axis as needed. While making my latest tutorial about rigging, I thought I'd have to explain all of this, as I was going to have to make some stuff in Maya and send it to Unreal, which is Z up. But thanks to FBX, I really didn't have to. I just kept working the way I normally worked, made all my models and animations in Maya, exported an FBX, and everything just worked when it came into Unreal. So I don't believe there's a good answer as to which came first or which is better. These two coordinate systems seem to have come about pretty much simultaneously, really depending on the point of view of the developer when they were taking that problem of taking those 2D drawings and building a 3D system out of them. And if you've invested such a huge amount of time and effort into building something as complex as Max or Maya, you're really not want, gonna want to scrap it for it just being Y up if it still essentially works. So if you're a software developer and you want to create the latest and greatest 3D software with a complete unique sales point, you could write the first 3D software ever in X up. No, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. If you've got that amount of talent, don't waste your time in making software that's different just for the sake of being different. Do something positive with your time. Make the world a little bit easier and more accessible. Thanks to Rolf for his question and to all of you for watching. If you'd like to ask a question that's useful to you to learn more about Maya, then drop me a line in the comments section below. Like, subscribe and hit the notification if you want to know when I'm releasing my latest videos. And thank you again very much for watching. Keep those questions coming and as always, keep learning, stay strong and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.